of the 2010 ACT Marie Claire Young Business Woman's Award is Carly Jane Toza. Wow, I really feel like I've won a Logie. <laughs> okay, well, hi, my name is Carly Jane Toza and I am the owner of CJ Style at Florey Shop. I decided at 12 years of age that I wanted to be a hairdresser and started working in a salon at age 14. It was then that I decided I wanted to own my own salon one day and when I was 16 and finished year 10, I went into a full-time apprenticeship. At this time of my life, I was criticised a great deal for choosing not to go to college, as were my parents. My principal told my parents that they clearly did not care about my future if they did not force me to go to college. If I can take this moment to say a huge thank you to my parents for always supporting, believing and trusting in me and telling me that all things are possible. Thank you. Three months after finishing my apprenticeship, I opened CJ Style. After being an apprentice and working up to 50 hours a week for $200, I had no money, but a very, very strong goal. So my parents-in-law graciously offered me the bottom of their house to start my salon. I would like to say a huge thank you to them for helping me have a place to start my salon and also putting up with people parking all over their yard and me completely redesigning their downstairs home. Without you, CJ Style would not be where it is today. Thank you. After only a couple of months of operating, I was blown away by how busier we became. We had to look for staff, and after nine months, we had to double the size of the salon. And 18 months later, we had to find a large shop to move my salon and staff into, and we also expanded into the beauty industry. We moved into a 125 square metre shop at Florey and also had a newborn baby in tow. My son Jackson was a couple of months old, and I was working full time with him attached to me in a sling. It was at this stage that I needed some help and placed one of my existing staff members as, man as manager. She gave me a gift, a work-life balance. I would like to say a huge thank you to my manager, Monica, and all my staff for being the best team in Canberra. I love each and every one of you, and you all play a very, very special and important role in my business and creating the success that we have had. Thank you for your loyalty and being here for today. You all amaze me. I met my husband Andrew in my third year of my apprenticeship because he came in for a haircut. <laughs> I spoke with him about my dreams and hopes for the future and he encouraged me to follow my heart. 18 months later we were married and he told me that he believed my purpose here on earth was to have a hair salon that was a ministry in my industry. And his purpose was here to make that happen for me. Andrew built my first salon and then completely renovated it and then did the whole fit out of my existing salon. He even slept there at nights, trying to finish it in the time frame we needed to. Thank you, my darling, for always believing in me and helping me grow from strength to strength and for always making my dreams your own. I love you. I would like to say... I would like to say a huge thank you to Telstra for making this award and also to the sponsors, especially the Commonwealth Bank and Marie Claire, who are behind my categories. I would also like to thank John from Hudson and Cara from PwC for making me feel so relaxed, accepted and amazing throughout the judging process. To be recognised for this award in my industry is truly a dream come true. I can't thank you enough. I would like to also thank my two best friends, Rhiannon and Michelle, for being there for my whole life and being such a support. Also, my five brothers and sisters, my life coach and my accountant, you have all helped me get where I am today. I would like to finish by telling a quick story at how this award has already given me so much more confidence. The other day I was dropping my son off at daycare and there was only one car park left, a reverse parallel car park. <laughs> now I haven't done one of these since I did logbook and I instantly panicked and thought, oh my gosh, where am I going to park? I then stopped and thought, wait, if you can be a finalist for the Telstra <laughs> Business Women's Award, you can by sure do a reverse parallel car park. Needless to say, mine was the best car park there. <laughs> See, it really is true. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Thank you so much again.